Hey everybody, how's it going? To those of you who watched my first Italy mini vlog, I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was short, but it's really kind of hard to like strike the right balance between capturing what you want to capture of a place and then being in the moment and experiencing it and not worrying about that. So that's the reason for that, but I was quite happy with it, so I hope you enjoyed it. There's plenty more to come. It is time for my monthly reading wrap up where I just give my thoughts on the books that I read this month briefly, talk about them and that kind of thing. So this month I only read four books. It would have been five, but um, with getting back to Norwich I have been very busy since then so I didn't, I've not finished the one that I'm currently reading so that'll have to wait until next month's wrap up. I only have one of the books that I'm going to be talking about with me today because um, I left the other ones at home. But with that all said, let's get started. So the first book I read was Stardust by Neil Gaiman. I did like this book, but I feel I would have liked it better if I had not seen the film and was a big fan of the film first. Because Stardust is probably in my top 10 films, definitely the top 20. And they're so, so different that if you watched or read one of them first, unless you didn't like the thing that you experienced first and then saw the other one, you probably wouldn't like the other one because it's just, you know, you get it set in your mind as, like, this is how it should be. I didn't dislike Stardust, having said that. Um, I thought it was very good. I thought it was a nice fairy tale and, you know, I, I enjoyed it. But it's very short and there are certain things that were expanded in the film that are very just sort of like glossed over in the book I felt and these were all aspects of the film that I really really liked and they were like my favourite things about it um, so it's less of an epic ending I found it's a nice little fairy tale if you're looking for that but if you want like the big climactic whole thing that the film of Stardust was then yeah, give it a read by all means but like yeah don't, don't get your hopes up in that respect Okay, so secondly I read The Fifth Letter by Nicola Moriarty. I don't read a lot of contemporary adult fiction. I usually stick to YA, not on purpose, it's just when I'm browsing, um, nothing really usually takes my interest within that genre. This book was all right. Like, it kept me entertained on holiday and it was fine in that respect. I said in my whole video that it's about these four friends who go away on holiday and to reconnect they all write anonymous letters to one another and then the main character finds a fifth letter that someone's tried to get rid of um, that's got a really horrible secret in it and she's just trying to figure out who it is. And it does a good job at misleading you and making you think that someone else wrote it and then someone else and so on and so forth. It was alright! I personally just didn't feel like I could connect to it very well. I found the ending a bit weird and a bit far-fetched. Um, so, uh, and, I, I, and the thing is, like, when I'm reading fiction, I'm just like, well, you know, anything can happen, it's, it's fine. Like, you know, as long as you, you can, like, convince me, as long as it's well written. Um, but this, I was just a little bit like, ah. so, yeah. Uh, give it a read if you want, um, but I don't think this one was really for me. So that's the uh, fifth letter by Nicola Moriarty. Thirdly, I read a really big one, um, and the reason I read it was that uh, I was on the coach uh, going around Italy, and they had the book exchange thing, and I was just looking in that, and this was the only one that really struck my fancy. So it was Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. I'm sure you're familiar with the cover. So you probably already know, but what it's about is a girl who takes a job um, as a companion to a quadriplegic man, and there is a romance there, um, but I don't want to give away any more spoilers. I, I don't think I should, so um, I'll leave it at that. Confession, I thought this was going to be absolute bullshit. Um, I have not read anything by Jojo Moyes before, uh, I'm not familiar with any of her work, I didn't have anything to go on except the trailer for the film. I did actually watch the film after reading the book and the film is not quite as sophisticated as the book, it doesn't go into so much depth and obviously it can't because it's only got an hour and a half, two hours, I can't remember, um, to cover everything. Um, so they did cut some quite significant parts out, 
uh, about the characters in terms of like like backstory and stuff like that and just yeah it just wasn't as good and I could see why someone would watch the film and think that oh this is just like crappy Mills and Boone taking advantage of a horrible horrible situation that someone is in but the book is not like that. Um, the book is very very slow burn in the romance. I would say that it comes secondary to the conversation that it's trying to introduce about um, these ethical questions about you know what makes life worth living that kind of thing it got me thinking about it and I've said this before but like it's kind of the most important thing to me if, if a book can make me think and finally the last book that I read was a reread because I got home from Italy and I didn't have anything to read so I just picked up something that I'd already read and this was Lorelei by Laura Dockrell because this is one of my favourite books of all time and ah uh, it's still great I love it um if you've not read it uh, I recommend you do so it's about a mermaid it is very modern day she gets like washed up on a beach that is just covered in empty beer cans and fish and chips boxes and it's just it's just so mystical and kind of trippy and the sea has this perspective in it and I think I'm going to make a whole video about this book at some point. If you'd be interested in that, let me know because I absolutely love it. So yeah, that is Lorelei by Laura Dockrell. So that's it for this month. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like. Um, tell me about uh, the books that you've been reading this month in the comments if you want. I will be back soon with some more videos and I also have some more Italy mini vlogs coming up. So stay tuned for those and I will see you next time. Bye!